Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is about land topology. Topology refers to how network devices are connected. It belongs to the layer one or physical layer of the OSI model. Topology can include three categories: physical, logical, and hybrid. Physical topology refers to how network devices are physically connected. By physical, it means we can actually see the layout of the network. Logical topology refers to how devices are connected with regards to signal flow. It is the way that the signals travel on the network media. Or the way the signal passes through the network from one device to the next, without regards to the physical connections. In my class, there are always one or two students who are physically sitting in my classroom, but logically they are far, far away. I call this phenomenon spacing out. If we combine physical and logical, we get hybrid topology. Let me talk about eight different topologies in next seven minutes. Let me start with the simple one: point-to-point -point topology. P2P topology is where one device is directly connected with another device. Very simple, but it is the foundation for all other topologies. Point to multipoint topology consists of central base station that supports other subscribed stations. Data transmitted from the central base station is broadcasting to all the subscribers, but data coming from a subscriber is only received by the base station. P2M. Topology is typically used in wireless LAN and wireless WAN. Bus topology is also called daisy chain topology. In bus topology, there's no central device; every network node is attached to one shared bus cable. In bus topology, when node A is sending a signal to node B. The signal goes to the bus, and every node attached to the bus gets a copy, but only B gets the message, and all others simply ignore it. In bus topology, terminators are required at both ends to prevent data reflection. Without the terminators, data signal would bounce back and forth endlessly and. Ultimately, the network will collapse. Rain topology is similar to bus topology. All nodes are connected to a cable that forms a closed loop. Thus, there is no need for termination. Data flows from one node to next one in circle. Each node reads the data and forwards it to next one until it reaches. The destination. Both bus and rain topology are simple and inexpensive, but they are not fault tolerant. One single point breaks, and the whole system will be done. Troubleshooting and maintenance are difficult too. Security is a major problem because every node can access to all other traffic's. Star topology is where all nodes are individually connected to a central device, like a hub or a switch. Star topology has benefits over both bus and rain for its fault tolerance, scalability, troubleshooting, and maintenance. However, central point failure will crash the whole system. Now. Let's talk about hybrid topology, a combination of physical topology and logical topology. Here we only focus two hybrid topologies: 
Star Ring, and Star Bus. Star Ring hybrid topology is the combination of a physical star and logical ring. In this example, physically we can see a star. Logical ring topology is where data flows inside the central device. When computer A sends data to B, for example, data flows from A to the central device. If we can follow data inside the box, we can see it moving along a ring electronically until it finds the connection to computer B. Starbus topology is the combination of physical star and logical bus. In this example, we can see a physical star topology. Logical bus topology is where data flows inside the central box. When computer A sends data to B, for example, data flows from A to the central device. If we can follow data inside the box, we can see it moving along a bus electronically. Star bus topology is the most common Ethernet LAN topology. By the way, please do not confuse star bus with star box. One is a topology and the other one is a coffee. They are not related. Last but not least, mesh topology. There are two types of mesh topology. Fully mesh topology means every node connects to every other node, while partially meshed topology is similar to fully meshed but only with a fewer connections for the same number of devices. Partially meshed topology might be practical for physical connections while fully matched topology is practical in wireless network. But for physical connections, fully matched topology should be considered carefully. The formula to calculate the number of connections in fully matched topology is C equal n times n minus 1 divided by 2, where C is the number of connections and A is the number of devices. For six devices, for example, we need 15 connections, not too bad. For 20 devices, we need 190 connections. Well, it is still manageable, but for 100 devices, we need 4,900 50 connections, it would be too expensive and extremely unpractical. In our real world, no one will do like this except governments and stupid people with a lot of money. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.